Okay, so now that our clay is rolled out, we wanna lay our template towards the edge, as far as you can go towards the edge. We're doing this, that way we can use the extra clay for the walls of our sarcophagus container. So I'm going to take this wooden stylus and carefully and slowly go around the template. Okay, so for this step, you just wanna make sure you're pressing your wooden stylus all the way to the table. That way you know you sliced all the way through your clay. I'm going to make two extra lines. You might wanna make some more. It'll be a little bit easier that way to remove the clay from around the sarcophagus. We don't just wanna dig in there and try to scoop it out because it won't really work too well. So I made those two slits. My clay was still stuck a little bit, so I went around it one more time with my stylist, and now I'm going to remove that extra clay. Okay, so now it's time to make my strips of clay that are going to be the walls around my sarcophagus container. So that first line I made from that point up, that clay, we're just going to roll up and move to the side because it's bumpy from my sarcophagus. This strip though, that'll be good for one of the walls. And I'm going to see how many I can cut, keeping them about the same height. I used my finger as a guide. I tried to make them about the height of the width of my finger. Perfect, so now we have these two walls. Hopefully it's enough, we'll see and they're going to go right on top and around my sarcophagus. First step for this is to score the clay. It's very important to score the clay. It kind of acts as Velcro and it really sticks your two clay pieces together. I'm also going to score this side of my wall that way when I stick it down to the other scored side, it will stick. When you're sticking two scored sides together, you also need to use some slip. So I'm putting that on one side. If you use too much slip, it's just gonna slide around. So try not to use too much, just a thin coating. Okay, so now since everything has slip on it, it's time to start adding our walls. So I'm gently pressing it down and I'm going to cut off this excess. If we pinch our wall too hard, it's going to be more fragile and we rolled it out so it's nice and even. So we wanna to try to keep it an even thickness. Now I'm gonna get my second piece that I already cut and I'm going to score that as well. The scored side is going to be flipped over and pressed against the scored side of my sarcophagus. I wrote my name before I did this step, otherwise it's gonna be hard to kind of reach in there once all the walls are on. I'm scoring the very edge that's touching the very bottom of the sarcophagus, and I'm looping that clay around. Once it reached that point, I sliced the extra off, and I decided to use a new piece for the head. The new piece that I rolled out wasn't quite long enough, so I needed to make a new one, but test it out first, see if you have enough. So for this piece, I'm curving it around the head area, and I lined it up and it's actually a little bit too long. So for this piece, I scored the whole side of the wall. I lined it up with the end of my other wall and I stuck it that way. Now I'm just going to kind of carefully reach in, trim off the excess. After you have your walls on your sarcophagus, it's a good idea to kind of smooth out the seams with your finger. And if you can reach on the inside and outside of the seams and smooth them as well, it's going to make a neater finished product. 